if you're an influencer, whether starting or been, uh, been in the business for a while, should you do brand deals on a regular basis? Good question. Let's answer that tonight, shall we? Good evening, Money and Life Movement. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to JG's Random Thoughts. Now, before we uh, <clears throat> before we get down to business, you guys know the drill. Or if you have if you're not familiar with my channel or any of my shows or any of my episodes for that matter, you hit that little thingy there. It'll take you to uh, it'll ask you to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel, of course, and hit the bell for notifications okay so that you won't miss out on any uh, on any of my videos for this channel right now influencers have been around since the dawn of social media actually right but the concept of the brand deal is like it's like a celebrity endorsement but instead of asking for asking for a talent fee or an endorsement fee or whatever whatever monetary thing they're asking we ask for free stuff most of the time all right in exchange for well mm. as i was saying <laughs> instead of an uh, instead of uh, an endorsement fee or or talent fee or whatever or whatever BS is, or whatever monetary BS is going on influencers like me would ask for free stuff okay well if you're an influencer okay the answer is it depends okay depends now, if you don't need uh, the free stuff, you can always uh, you can always promote your favorite establishments, your favorite uh, hang your favorite hangout places for free, right? You you would usually do that to uh, well, basically promote your uh, promote your social accounts, promote your website. But if you're uh, if you want to get into a brand deal, you have to learn to well. You have to learn to pitch your brand, your own brand. Okay, you have to pitch your own brand to these uh, establishments. Like for example, uh, I'm working on a uh, I'm working on a brand deal right now, which concerns a, uh, a local spa, which is uh, which is run by which is run by a good friend which is run by a good friend of mine, a long time. Uh, a former classmate in high school and uh, I don't want to get into the details right now but it's uh, it's almost done the deal is almost done all I have to do is confirm confirm through DM of course right confirm through DM then well you may you may be um, you may be seeing uh, that place in an episode of random thoughts all right you'll be seeing that the advantage of uh, influencers negotiating, influencers themselves negotiating for brand deals is number one, they they get to polish their selling skills and negotiate their skills, and number two, uh, they come in contact with the owners of the establishment directly. Right? Remind you, if you're an influencer, you don't have a manager. Hey, you're not you're no celebrity. You work on your own. Once you work on your own, uh, you build your personal brand on your own. Okay. So when it comes to brand deals, you have to learn to approach the owners themselves. Okay. This is where selling comes in. This is where salesmanship comes in. And I'm glad I, got, and I'm glad I got that experience as a salesman. So I'm currently using it right now to to furnish brand deals for, for myself okay all for the benefit of this youtube channel all right so that's it that's my take on the matter oh don't forget to comment below okay if you if you found if you found this uh if you found this episode very valuable to you and 
if you haven't if you haven't hit that thingy yet, hit that thingy now and hit the bell so that you won't miss out on the next episode. Okay, don't forget to watch these videos. You see these videos here? Don't forget to watch those videos for uh, well, for if you if you'd like to gain gain further value from this channel. All right, that's it for this episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.